Hi, welcome. We are on the process of making ISOs on, uh, for every desktop we've visited. And GNOME is one of the desktops that we have created already um, some, some scripts for. Arc Linux D has scripts. And what we want to do is actually uh, make ISOs so that you can change it to whatever you want and decide you don't want Firefox or do decide you want to have Firefox and add Vivaldi snapshots or end, 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 end. The idea is that you are in control of building the ISO. So Arca Linux is the big ISO. If you go to Firefox, oops, that's the firewall, cancel. Firefox, one to the right. If you go to control alt article linux d.com, that's what we're working on. And in phase four, we're going to have built it yourself. And the idea is that you have here this infographic which says, okay, let's build an article linux, but this time without this XFCE open box i3, but just with a, a desktop, not, not uh, three of them or awesome or bsp and this one is gnome so we followed a tutorial like this one a little film not difficult at all but if you think it's too much for you then you just follow this link and you'll find that we have lots of files except lots of files to download so every desktop that we visit will get an article linux d script but also an Arc Linux B, so in you, an ISO. If you click on the one of the UIs, it's all an ISO. So it's built on the Arc Linux ISO, and it's editable. I mean, you can edit it. You can change the file the, which is responsible for all the packages, and that's the package of both. If you say don't want Firefox, hashtag in front, build the ISO, done. It's your ISO the way you want it. That's the goal give you the power to create a ISO. So we're basically working now in this ISO and you have to, don't, don't look for this, this minimize thing, it's right mouse click and then minimize and it's gone. And there's the tweak tool and stuff like that, stuff that, that's important is there. We also have here this uh, icon that's up there. We had to do th something for that. We had to install something and Tutorials are there, of course, and it's the same place in the sense that when we're talking about phase three GNOME, any of the articles about GNOME will apply on, well, basically any GNOME, and not just Arch based, but any GNOME, of course. But this particular thing we're talking about, this variety icon that's there, is where is it again? It's about extensions, that's for sure. Might be in here. Here it is. How to add variety icon to system tray on Arc Linux D. But like I said, it's uh, on any Arc Linux or any Arch Linux based uh, system. Uh, same applies for Antergos or, Anter or, or Manjaro or anything. It's, it's GNOME, you know, it's uh, so. It, I seem to say it a lot, but please think out of the box. Don't stick to one system. This, what you learn here can be applied to all Arch uh, systems. And even beyond, because this GNOME is not only on Arch, it's everywhere. It's a desktop. So, well, yeah, is there anything else I can show you? Close tab. So we have the tweaks here. We change some colors. I don't know, uh, frolly dark, how about hibiscus dark maybe, hibiscus dark, breeze snow. We have uh, a special new icon. Let's try that out in here as well. So, Trizen Oxy Niln is, has been explained to you how to make a package build and then we've added it to the AOR so now we can just install it 
So we have now a new cursor. So that's a cursor. The thing is, where is this cursor? And let's first apply the update. Commit and be gone. So breeze no and okay, reload. Normal, of course. It needs to reload, re, re, read, read, tweak tools, tweaks. Let's see what's in there. Oxygen, oxynil, that's it. Oxynil, and this is a strange little icon that you see now. And let's take another wallpaper so you see it better. Wallpaper selector. Something black is always better for the for the colors. Nice. So this is variety kicking in. Variety just works out of the box. Like this one as well. But the cursor is almost invisible then. Depends on what background you have. And then you'll like the cursor or not. It's just a choice. Now well, you see there's still work to be done. From time to time it switches over to the, the snow uh, icon. I know where to fix it but that would lead us too far. This is Pamac. And we have our repos, repositories. Here's Arco or Linux repo. Uh, so that's okay. Everything is here. The multi lib is here. Community, the extra, and the core. We can select the preferences here as well and say, okay, you can update a war, check for updates, and close. Because I believe there was an update. Let's see, updates. Yep, PAMEC AOR and INC must be updated, and there you go. What we do now is actually the same what we would do if we type this one, right? You know that. Just saying. And Control T. What is that thing there when I type? That's an alias, and that's an alias for this line. So if you want um, to update everything, everything, that's the line I always type every morning. PKS YUA. So it's a yaourt, update everything, synchronize everything up to date. And also don't forget, update AUR without confirmation. Yes, yes, no, no, yes, yes, no, no. Don't want that. We just want to have an up to date system, basically. That's just me. Maybe I'm lazy. Anyway, uh, this should be canceled because we're up to date. We've just updated. So that should be okay. Let's, what I always do again. Um, oops, change background. Oh yeah, so I didn't show that, that's for later. What I wanted to do was go to Termite and what I always do after an update is update again. It's a strange habit, but then you see, voila, then you see that you, that we still have to get this Inksy and Pamek AOR in and let's let him do his job. So minimize. Let's have a look at the settings. Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth settings, background, notifications, search, maximize, region, language, universal access. You know these things. It's not different than any other GNOME out there. So GNOME is just a desktop. You can put it on everything. RPM, so Red Hat, you can put it on anything really. Doesn't matter. Uh, this is a nice little trip, trick. I had to look a long time for that. The keyboard shortcuts are hidden in here. In here, devices, keyboard. And here, we, down here, you can say plus. And you can say, give me termite. Termite. Shortcut. Control Alt T. Control Alt T. Add. That works. And what we also missing probably if you're an Arch Linux user, and that is termite and termite if you're pressing super return. So that's added and now we are feeling right at home. Some of the shortcuts really really are accustomed to our fingers know already what to press and if the keyboard does not exist you have to make it. So that's it basically. Um, I guess this is bye bye. Enjoy the system. Oh, we could check it and if the update is done there. Better press the space bar, then you're all the way down. One up. And there we go. 
so we have uh, everything is up to date and we can rest assured that we will have a working up-to-date system now all right cheers